I absolutely love that Yunu thinks, or it, he thinks that it's more likely for him to kidnap Keith than Keith being in love with Yunu. <laughs> that is so laughable because it's so impossible for him to be able to kidnap Keith. Before we get started though, I just want to remind our viewers that if you like seeing more Yaoi content and would like to support this channel, please don't forget to smash that like button. Also, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Feel free to message me in my social media at Joshi, which I'll be using to interact with viewers about more Yaoi content. If that's something that interests you, feel free to follow me at Joshi. Finally, this episode will contain explicit content and a lot of manhwa spoilers. With that in mind, please proceed with caution. You have been warned. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the special chapter 22 of Kiss Me Liar. I gotta laugh at all of the small details being said in this chapter because the sidewalk is too dangerous for Spencer to walk on. <laughs> Seriously, they're already inside their private residential driveway, just FYI. How dangerous is this sidewalk going to be for Spencer? There's no, you know, other people driving around aside their car. <laughs> but then again, you know, I gotta give them kudos because their family out outfit is so adorable. The family set of clothes, like, I love how they are matching their outfits. And Spencer grabbing Keith's hair again is such an adorable detail added here. Gosh, like, the way that Keith looks at Yunwu, in fairness to Keith, he has become such a good father, such a good husband. He's very hands-on when it comes to Spencer, which which is so unbelievable knowing how he was in the very first series. Yunwo is becoming so pretty. And even though I still have some sort of negativity towards Keith, I can't deny that he is pretty good looking too. Seriously. And um, just a reminder for everyone, the doc did remind us, the viewers, along with this family, that Yunwoo's heat is coming soon. And now, Keith, I don't know if he's joking that he is in a rut. I don't know how true this is. But, you know, Spencer may need a butler to find a sitter for this whole week because the report isn't out so maybe you know soon <laughs> soon might something juicy or steamy might happen but spencer needs someone to take care of him if his parents are going to be gone for a week <laughs> but for now my general frustration for you know for now is that i really just want keith to get that report and um i want keith to paste all of the pieces together and i just hope that by the time that he gets that report in because 24 hours is what he asked emma um i hope that he goes into his rut feeling so angry with yunwo and having found out that his omega has been hiding in front of him all this time but also very happy because knowing that yeah Yunwu has always been his destined one and then seeing or imagining how Keith is gonna force Yunwu to pass up from all of his lies even without his memory they can make this work to be honest um i hope for some reason i don't know how this whole marking works even though like um yunwoo is already marked but i hope that um yunwoo would mark keith again and i hope that keith can mark um 
Yunwu again and when they start marking each other again I hope that the memories return they go make sweet love and give us our number two because I think we are all ready to be aunts and uncles again <laughs> we need this baby <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to follow my social media to be teased about some of the boys' love that I'm interested in. Feel free to leave me a message and converse with me in my Discord channel. I'd love to hear back from you. And please consider supporting the show by donating as little as 99 cents through www.zealedfujoshi.xyz. Also, don't forget to support the author. All the manual details can be found in the description below again thank you so much and hope to see you next time